To grab attention and make sales with your eBooks and Kindle books and things like that, you need to make sure you have a great book cover design that catches users' attention. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a super neat trick using Kittle for using photography mixed with other elements to make a compelling book design. And you don't even have to go anywhere else and search for photos because you can do that easily with Kittle and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. Now, if you're new to Kittle, that's our online design tool and it's perfect for pretty much any creative project just like this one we're working on. So if you don't have it yet, go ahead and sign up using the link down in the description and then you can follow along with me. All right, to get started, we are going to have our artboard set to 1600 by 2560, which is the standard ebook or Kindle cover uh, for Amazon Kindle. Um, but again, you can always uh, choose the right dimensions for what you need. Over here, we have all of our text we're gonna use. By the way, if you hit the W button, that's how I got it to show up. Um, and so if I hit W again, boom, you see it goes away and I can only see my artboard. So we have that tucked away for later. Now, we are gonna do specifically a photo uh, a photo specific cover so if i type in mountain here it's going to search through all of unsplash's uh, inventory of photos basically and we are going to find one that's going to work for us because that's kind of the focal point of what we're going for here we're creating kind of a mountainy range um, which we'll get into and kind of explain here in a little bit. So I like this mountain, uh, this kind of mountain range here that's going on. I think it's going to work really, really nicely. So let's go over to elements and then I'm going to just type in man because this silhouette right here is great because our story is about uh, like a ranger, a, a park ranger, a national park ranger that comes across a crime that's happened uh, in the forest. So this looks really nice. Again, focal point, mountain, uh, focal point, person. Uh, now we need to bring the photo on top because we're going to mess with some blending modes. So you can see when I switch it to overlay or soft light, a really cool thing happens right here. Uh, so if I switch it to overlay, you can see also it's kind of the same thing pretty much. Um, so now you can see that it's kind of created a, a mask sort of speak. And so when I change the green to something else, you can see that it's affecting uh, the whole layout there. I'm, I'm, I'm changing the illustration color over on the left. It's making it kind of more dark and auburny. Uh, and as I move it over to the right, it makes it even lighter up here in the top left, or if I want it darker, or if I move it over here, it makes it even brighter. Uh, it's kind of changing the hue there, which is really cool. And so that's just a cool effect for you to get a really interesting and different uh, book cover design. So I can do the same thing with the background. If I switch it around, you can see the picture coming through, but if I make it black, it goes away. And if I make it white, it goes away. But if I want just a little bit coming through, you can see a little bit of the mountain range coming through in the background through that photo. Uh, I think that's really, really cool. So we're going to go with something like this, just a little bit of that mountain picture coming through the back. And I think that's looking really cool. So let's don't forget to lock our things here. So with the illustration, we're going to go photo instead of illustration. And for our man, uh, we are going to maybe switch him up a little bit, even darker. It kind of goes with the ember vibe. That's the title of our book there. If we go over into photos, we can add a photo on top. So if I type in trees, we can do or forest let's do forest i think this is a good one right here so let's size this up like this and then i can essentially do the same thing so if i go to soft light or overlay you can see it's doing the same thing it's creating a really really cool uh, kind of cut in effect and i can lower or raise the opacity to how i want it uh, and then we need to make sure that it fills the space here so i need to zoom out a little bit and then make sure this fills the whole space so that's looking pretty good i move it around to where i think the trees are coming through in the bottom of the face there really nicely and now you can kind of see how those trees and the mountains kind of look like they're one whole picture but we've actually done it with two pictures Pictures, which is kind of cool. Uh, so now let's change this illustration image to photo two because uh, it's not actually an illustration, it's a photo. And then let's lock it because we don't want to start dragging it all over the place by accident. That would not be what we want. So then if we go over to illustrations, we can type in tree. And now what I'm going to do is create a uh, kind of a frame here along the bottom. So I have this tree here. Now I need it to be the same color as the illustration. And then I need to bring it below the two photos and you see what happens. I made it the same color as the silhouette and now it kind of blends in together really, really nicely. And so now when I speed up through the rest of it, you can see what happens when I continue to do this. I'm creating kind of a little border amongst the bottom of the image here, the front of the book cover. And then what I'm gonna do is actually add a block and I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna make it the same color turn it to the back and now you can see 
I've really made kind of a cool range here, a mountain a tree forest range or a tree skyline or something like that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna label this as trees. So now I have it all grouped together and then I'm going to uh, make this the silhouette. I'm gonna make our, our man silhouette there. I'm just gonna label it silhouette like that. Hey, real quick, if you're getting value out of this book cover tutorial, let me know by hitting the thumbs up button and that red subscribe button. Then let me know in the comments, what is your book about and what are you gonna put on the cover? Maybe it's some photography with some nice typography on it, or maybe you're going to use other illustrated elements like our detailed florals and other things like that. Either way, I'd love to know. So hit me up in the comments and then let's get back to the tutorial. And then what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to duplicate this group of trees. And so what I'm going to do is change the color a bit and make them a little bit of a different hue. So I'm gonna make it a little bit lighter. Uh, so if I go up here and I start changing it, you can see it gets brighter. Now I have two blocks in there I need to go delete. So there's two shapes here, I need to get those out of the way. Boom, delete it and they're done. And now what I can do is I can just move all of these trees around to get them where I want to. And it's the same way as you kind of see that happening in the head there. I'm creating this kind of depth by two different colors. So now I'm gonna find a bird and this one looks really, really good. And now I just need to continue to change the colors uh, to get it that full. I want to basically make a silhouette out of that bird, bring it to the bottom, boom. Now it looks like it's part of the whole illustration that we've got going on here by combining different assets and by combining multiple images over there in the Unsplash section. And so that's kind of cool. It kind of goes with the Ember kind of Phoenix vibe. Now let's add a gradient because I want to emphasize this uh, this difference in color even more. So let's put it in the middle. So we have this really bright up top, almost white, that kind of goes through the different yellows and oranges all the way down to a super dark kind of auburny or fire orange. Now let's change that to be even more accentuated. Uh, let's make it uh, a little bit darker. And then what we need to do is once that's done, we need to go over here to the other object color and make it uh, transparent. So when you select a new color, by the way, it makes it fully, the opacity is all the way turned up, but it's okay, you can just turn it back down so now that's looking a little bit better now we need to lock it and we're just going to label this gradient here uh, and because it just accentuates it a little bit more more and it makes it a little bit of a nicer transition there so now if I hit W you can see all of our stuff it kind of looks like a mess we're just here for the text make sure your text is up on top and then let's drag it over into the front or if you're just adding text for the first time that's fine you could work on your whole layout and then work on the text so I like this North Road font here I think that's really cool it's nice and rounded uh, I think it's kind of outdoorsy looking it's condensed uh, it's really big it's easy to see and again kind of condensed fonts are really nice for uh, a book cover and I think this is gonna work great ember and wood I think it's really playing with the park rangery type vibe the outdoor naturey type vibe that you could use it for a lot of different things now we have several versions we have a clean and then we have kind of a hand-drawn one that's more rugged and then we have just a rough one which I'm gonna use because I think that looks even more cool I think that looks like it blends in even better uh, and so then what we're gonna need to do is work on our other type here so we have Gene Watts up here and let's pick a different font I'm going to choose this other condensed one, Milk Store 2. It's not quite as intense and bold as the other one, which is not what we want, because again, the author name is, of course, important, but the title name is even more important. So let's do the same thing. Let's make sure our text is legible down here at the bottom. We'll make it that brighter color, and then we'll do Milk Store 2 for our kind of... Uh, our, our a quote here uh, and then the Atlantic News I think was fine as Roboto I think it looks good now you can go through all of our color palettes over here on the right and pick one that could really be cool you could do your own of course but once you have everything together you can go through all of these different colors and they're kind of changing the blending mode like that looks really cool that could be kind of dark and mysterious like a thriller that looks really cool you could easily go through and just pick a preset color palette or I can just go down here like I'm gonna do right now and I'm just gonna tweak colors manually with the project colors and I'm thinking it's starting to look a lot better now with textures we need to add some grunge so now we're gonna pick a grunge texture texture I think that looks good let's lower the opacity just a little bit because I don't want it to be too intense because we already kind of have a lot of going on uh, in this current composition but once we feel like we have and uh, have it to where we want it we can actually release this texture go over to the layers and then we'll call this grunge and then we'll lock it because again we don't want to move it now we can add more so let's add some grain. I think that's way too intense. Let's bring it down and let's add just a bit of subtle grain. It kind of helps that, uh, it kind of helps bake that font into the background as well. And so once we figure that 
that out and have it as a nice place. Now we can go and download it. So now we're always going to want to select optimize quality for something like a book cover. Now, if you're not sure what that does, it just takes longer to smooth out pixels. I'm not saying you, you're going to get a bad image if you just hit select uh, and download. But if you select optimize quality specifically for PNG and JPEG, you're going to get a much smoother pixel download. And so here is our completed book cover design completely made in Kittle using the Unsplash feature to use photography in this book cover. I hope you have a blast. Now, if you want to learn more about book card and stationary design, I have a whole playlist dedicated to that right here on my right. So check that out. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any updates and features and things like that. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.